Okay, this will be the beginning. I'm gonna be counting how many of these uh, chocolate ghost peppers we get uh, from this one plant during this year. And I did, well, I was gonna say the first, but I guess the second technical harvest. It was three of them. I, I have harvested two before. I decided to, you know, that I'm gonna start counting, but those were two green ones. So I guess, I don't know what I'm deciding on. If I'm gonna start, say, like, oh, this was three or five. I'm leaning towards five because, I'm, you know, I'm counting the total. So yeah, so far we've gotten five ghost peppers. And I'm gonna be trying to freeze them this year. And we'll see how it goes. Okay, I just harvested five more. So we're up to ten harvested so far. Like the one ripe one, and this is the first pepper, or first chili, I guess, that popped up on this ghost pepper plant. I decided, uh, you know what, since we already harvested and tasted two green ones before, and they were very hot. So, I'm gonna make a hot sauce. Um, have some apple cider vinegar right here. And I'll just make a simple hot sauce. Okay, six more for this harvest. That puts us, up, that puts us at 16. And I'm probably gonna use this one to make a hot sauce. Hello, it's the 2nd of June. And I have here five more that have been harvested. So now we're up to 21. 10th of June, and I just harvested 10 more uh, chilies from this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen more. So 31 plus 18, 49. Hello, it's the 25th of June, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. And I think we had 49, so. 57. Wait, it is 8, right? 5, 3, yeah. 57. Yeah, I harvested one more of these Butcherlokia because I have harvested like, let's say, a hundred of these Zimbabwe Blacks. And I'm deciding to do a powder for them. So a little bit extra heat for those. One but as well. Uh, or ghost pepper chocolate. So I think. I don't remember what I had last time, but whatever that number was, plus one. This is how this looks. I've just mortared and pestled it a little. And it looks good. And it smells even better. Okay, hello. Yeah, I have 19 green boots and 10 red ones that I harvested. So I totaled 29. And let's see, last time I had 58 total, so 58 plus 29 is 87. So yeah, we're up to 87. And out of these 29, I'm planning on making them into a powder. And in front of you, you see the last harvest of the Butt Jalakia chocolate. On the right, that is, for this year. And it was 53, actually. But Jalakia that, I har that we harvested, my mom and I, and plus the 87 that we had, 87 plus 53 is 140. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that was a lot. We got 140 from one plant. And I have cut down the plant super much now um, to see if we can overwinter it. Like, I've broken the, like, one-third or, like, two-third rule. I probably, like, reduced the plant by, like, 90%. Because if it dies, oh, well. It was, like, three to four years old. And I can just replant because I've saved seeds. And I'm probably not going to plant more chilies in that. Because I've had chilies in that soil and all that for, like, five to seven years in a row now. Maybe plant something else there. Just in case. Uh, and then on the right, left here, these are some regular ghost peppers. So you can actually really see like the color difference between the chocolate ghost peppers and the regular ghost peppers. 
So yeah, because the chocolate ones, they go from like green to like this color into like a deep red like that. Pretty interesting to see how they look. They go from boom, boom, boom. Flavor wise, I'll be honest, I don't really know that much of it. I don't really feel that much of a difference between these or like spiciness. I don't really feel that much of a difference. But these ones are a bit more unique. So I did not save any seeds from the regular one. I have saved seeds from these ones who actually are like the third generation for us. At this plant that these come from are seeds I saved from a previous plant that I planted. And I still have seeds from that se previous plant. Those seeds are about from like 2020 or something. Try and plant them, see if any of those sprout, who knows. But I have so much, so much, so many seeds at the moment. Anyways, and here are they, like after we clean them and then to dry them out a bit. And I think my, my mom accidentally dropped one or two down the drain that we threw away. So we had 140 and then two right now got they were in the drain and then we just threw them in the compost bag. I don't know how many, but however many our dehydrator could fit, that's how many I put in there. And this is how much we got after trying them for like 16 hours, let's say. And then just pulverizing them with a pour, porter and mortar and pestle. That is what it's called, a mortar and pestle, yeah. Dude, that's gonna last us <laughs> fuck so long. We have so much <coughs> chili. Like this year, I planted so much. All different types of different types of chilies. And yeah, I don't think we've gone a single day this entire year where we haven't had like something with chili in it. I used eight or seven. No, I used seven butchelokia to make two hot sauces and these were less you know tomatoes that we our own homegrown tomatoes and uh, that we grow on our balcony and the ones that we grow on our balcony was a called gardener's delight probably i didn't save any seeds from them they produced well but wasn't really my type of tomato so i bought some other seeds some a little bit more like unique tomatoes that i might want to try and with the ones that we have left, made some hot sauces, those tomatoes, uh, seven butts, like specifically seven red butts, and we put in salt, it, a lot of salt, it, was, it became a little bit too salty and a bit too sour uh, because of the vinegar as well. We used white wine vinegar this time, salt, tomato, and just butt. Uh, cumin because I mean you're not really gonna taste this this right here is mostly just to give you a ton of heat um, because these are super hot and they're quite chunky not chunky they're quite th thick uh, because of you know the tomato and I probably should have put in maybe a bit more a little bit less vinegar but then again I want this to be safe right so i added a lot of salt more than I normally do because i don't normally put tomatoes in try to just offset it a bit and it didn't work very well so these aren't that good as like you just put something it's not something i would put after i cook something i think these hot sauces are something you use while you're cooking to replace a bit of salt and to give it a, bit, a bunch of heat and sourness and with some green ones and some red ones I probably should have put to sell right there with some of the smaller ones and I'm gonna try and pickle them and this is just a simple pickle solution one part oh, I don't remember I just follow a pickle solution from a channel called weird explorer or fruit explorer or something like that um, like this Jewish guy from New York I think who refused fruits I recommend his channel but basically this is from his kumquat video I just used that pickle solution it's good just a simple one uh, I did that with 
some of my banana peppers. Not the, not banana peppers, what I'm talking about. Ukrainian hot wax peppers, that they were called. But for these ones, we scraped the insides of these. Uh, so we removed all the seed and all the loose flesh and all that and put them along with these guys. So I guess you could say like seven and a half butt in these. Because from all the insides of these, plus seven butts went into these. Alright, it's spinning. Don't know why. Is that really the last? Oh, wait, no, no. The reason it's spinning is because it's trying to show the video I'm recording right now. Anyways, 140 chocolate ghost peppers uh, from one plant. So that was a very productive year. That is the most harvest we've got from any plant ever.